Welcome to this online demonstration of some of the features of Triage Pro. The goal of this demo is to introduce the concept of discrete event simulation, also called time to event modeling, comparing it to Markov models. We will examine a simple DES model to explain the concepts. Then we will show how such a model would be analyzed. This demonstration will use the 2014 version 2.1 of Triage Pro. Discrete event simulation is a method for modelling the progress of individual patients and the events which can occur as time progresses. The main difference between discrete event simulation models or DES models and traditional Markov models is the focus on events and continuous time rather than health states and fixed cycle length probabilities. The structure of the two model types, Markov and DES, are very similar within Triage Pro. Prior to the 2014 version of Triage Pro, Markov modelling was the only method to model events into the future. Triage Pro now supports most elements of discrete event simulation models with the exception of resource constraints and queues, which are not commonly used in healthcare models. Unlike Markov models, which can be analysed by both microsimulation and cohort analysis, discrete event simulation models can only be analysed via patient level simulation, which means microsimulation or trials. In Triage Pro, the structure of a DES model is similar to the structure of a Markov model. A Markov model is based on the concept of health states, a fixed time cycle, probabilities and a set of events. These events may or may not occur each cycle. The DES structure is based around events rather than health states and time to events sampled from distributions, as opposed to fixed time cycles and probabilities. Both DES and Markov models can be incorporated into larger decision trees to facilitate cost-effectiveness analysis and other mechanisms to compare treatment strategies. Because DES models must be evaluated using microsimulation, we can incorporate and use trackers in DES models. We have open here the Osteo DES model, which we can find in examples and then discrete event simulation. We will start by examining the model structure and the new node types associated with DES models. Let's expand the tree editor window and look more closely at the model. DES model structure is similar to a Markov model. DES models replace the probabilities found in a Markov model with time to event values. Both these elements impact the flow of patients through the model. In DES models, the flow is now based on a time at which event occurs. The model uses node types specifically designed in DES models. The model structure starts with a DES node type, as indicated here. There are two branches from the DES node in this model. The first is a time node to process events in a process event loop, which is this section here. The second is a terminal node, which is to exit the model down here. These branches of a DES node can still represent health states if that's useful from a modelling point of view. However, the flow is now driven by time to event values as below each of these branches. The process event loop is where all the events which can happen are processed based on their individual time to event expressions. Trials will flow to the time node branch with the shortest time to event value. Once a trial has processed a specific event, the distribution used within the time expression for that event is resampled, resulting in a new time to event. The trial will then proceed through any dependent events if they exist, like death from a hip fracture, such as indicated here. Once the trial reaches a terminal node, it will either exit the model or it will loop back to the process event loop. This sequence of event processing continues until the trial exits the model, either via death or by the end of the time horizon. So let's look at some of the DES specific terms in more details. DES keywords are specific words designated for use in DES models, and they're important to enable the time to be tracked on a continuous basis. Let's look at the variable properties view at the bottom here in the views. The first keyword is underscore time, and this is used to give the current time of the patient. We use underscore event underscore time used to record the time of a current event. And finally, underscore prior underscore time is used to find the time elapsed before the current event. These keywords can be used in our expressions for evaluating what happens to each trial and when. And in here you'll see underscore event time being used, underscore prior time being used and underscore time being used. There are two nodes used in DES modeling specifically. So let's open the palette and have a look at them. The first one here is the DES node. And this acts like the Markov node in the Markov model. The role of this node is to mark where we are entering into a DES model and it defines the time horizon for the model. 
The unit of time measurement is flexible and it's also not entered into the model, but it's important that all the values in the model are consistent with the other parameters in the model, whether they be in days, months or years. The other node is a time node and this functions in a similar manner to the chance node, except what would be probabilities in a Markov model are actually competing times to the next event. This impacts the model in the following way. A trial will flow to the event where the shortest time to event occurs. The time to each event usually includes a distribution. Note that a model can have several time nodes for different process event loops. For example, a certain set of events when healthy and a different set of events when sick. This model only has one process event loop. Next, let's talk about terminal nodes, which are indicated here in the palette. So let's hide the palette first. When a terminal node is a branch of a DES node, such as here, the terminal node is used to exit the model, either once the time horizon is reached or once the patient is dead. This is equivalent to the absorbing state in the Markov model. When a terminal node is used elsewhere in the model, such as here, they act like jump states in a Markov model and they return the trial to the process event loop or they exit the model. These ones return it to process event loop and these ones are returning it to exit the model. The model can incorporate dependent events to the right of any event in the process event loop, such as the possibility of death after a hip fracture. DES distributions are used for sampling time to the next event, and the distributions are created in the same way in a DES model as in other models. So let's look at the distributions view. In a DES model, we're going to need greater control of distribution sampling, specifically for events which can happen more than once. Therefore, we need the ability to resample a distribution at a specific node, which ensures that once an event has occurred, a new sample will be drawn to generate the new time event. The two distributions used for the event hip fracture can be seen in the distributions view. So let's look at this hip fracture node and then we can see the distributions to use down here. And you'll notice that the resample at node checkbox is checked for those that are relevant to the hip fracture. And this will force a new sample to be drawn after the event occurs. Notice there are different distributions used for the control strategy and the intervention strategy to ensure we have different values for each strategy, each of which uses the same process event loop and events. Also another important element to note is that the time to event expression is not solely based on distribution samples. The expressions need to account for the time already passed and in some cases the time since the last event of that type. Now let's talk about fixed and rate rewards which are used in a DES model instead of state and transition rewards which would be used in a Markov model. In a DES model, rewards are accumulated as either time-based, that is rate rewards, or fixed rewards. Rate rewards are based on the amount of time a trial has been in a state and are a function of the time elapsed in a state. Let's look here at the process event loop and the DES info view, and we can see the rate rewards here being accumulated. Fixed rewards are associated with the specific cost associated with an event. So if we look at the hip fracture event, we can see that there are fixed costs associated with that. Because DES models are analysed via microsimulation, we can use trackers in the same way as we use them in Markov models. Trackers are used to count how many fractures occur per person and when a death occurs, for example, and this can be useful output per individual. We add trackers to the branch where we want to count the events, and then in our tree preferences, we can show the info in the model. In this model currently, we don't have any trackers showing, but if we go to tree and tree preferences, under the display option and in variables Markov info, we can select to show the definitions. And then when we go back to our model, we see that here we have a tracker which is tracking death. And it will set the tracker death equal to two when an individual dies from a hip fracture. Due to the time to event element within DES models, discounting is done in two separate ways. For fixed rewards, we can use a built-in discount function. So we can see here, at the hip fracture branch in DES info, when we look at the fixed cost rewards here, we use the discount function here, which is dependent on the initial hip fracture cost, a discount rate and the time elapsed. Whereas when we go to the process event loop, where we have a rate based reward, we see a new function used, discount cont DES, and this function will automatically apply the continuous discount rate based on the start and the end time at the time node. We could run the model by doing the following. We select the decision node and then we go into the analysis menu, Monte Carlo simulation, and then we're running trials or micro simulation. And we select the number of trials we want. In this case, we select 10,000 and select begin. 
We'll note that in a DES model it will run many times faster than the equivalent Markov model because the trial jumps from event to event until death occurs rather than waiting for many cycles for an event to occur. The simulation will generate the standard output including the charts and the text report. Um, so we can look at the cost effectiveness rankings and cost effectiveness analysis down here. Um, generate the rankings report and that can be used to compare strategies based on the mean results from each strategy. In addition, this model uses the global end function to store each trial's path through the model. And we can see how we store that data if we look at the variable properties view. In the variable pro properties view, there are a number of definitions which start with ZG. And each of these call the global end function either to store or add elements into a global matrix. Data that we've accumulated in the global end matrix can then be exported to Excel and then formatted. And this is an example of the formatted data, which would show us patient by patient, the path that the patient has taken through the model. This first patient has had an event happen at time 3.7. And we know from the sample distribution here, so the times for a hip, a vertebral and death, that that event is a vertebral fracture. So that patient then accumulates cost and effectiveness associated with that vertebral fracture. Then the model regenerates a new time for the next vertebral fracture and then looks at the time to event again. So this patient one again receives another vertebral fracture at time 5.6 and again accumulates cost and effectiveness based on that event occurring. And the final event which happened to this person happens at time 7.07 .07, which we know is the time the distribution is sampled for death and then that patient dies and leaves the model and then looks at data for the second patient and so on and so forth. This method of showing trial by trial level data is to build confidence in your model outputs and would not be necessary at every stage of your model. In summary, this demonstration has provided an overview of the elements of a discrete event simulation model, specifically the node types, the keywords, the model structure, model flow and using distributions. We've also shown how to analyze the model and the key outputs to look at. Thank you for watching this demonstration by Triage Software.